What's up, creeps? It's Jason, a.k.a. the Pope of Pain, and I'm back here with JDK for another... Well, actually, this is not a Crip Cut. We're going to do a, a new thing. Yeah. A new thing. <laughs> this is very new. You know, we watch Shocker. all these fucking movies, right? <laughs> yeah. A Spookerama, by the way, you know? You guys, if you haven't been to a Spookerama yet, man, put on your seatbelt, man. These things are getting crazy out when, here. When, right? where? Yeah. Thursday nights, 8 Thursday, p.m. Yeah, Thursday <laughs> nights, 8 p.m. at Pollock Cinemas, man. Go to our Instagram. Go to anywhere. It says Terror Trader, and you're going to see us talking about it. Anyway. That was my shameless plug. Anyway, <laughs> You're right. Uh, but we're sitting there thinking, and well, last night we watched Scream 2 yep. on the big screen, right? Again, this is from, I think it was like 98, 97 when this thing it's came out. Right. Whatever, yep. right? And uh, I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, why don't we review these, right? Because now that it's fresh in our brains, we saw it on the big screen. We have, you know, we had like 260 crazy, maybe 270 crazy ghost faces out there in a about crowd. 300 yeah about okay 300 let's just people. go 300, 300 people. actually i'm sure some people snuck in it felt like that yeah so uh, i have some questions about some people <laughs> <laughs> so i figured why don't we jump on um you know at, we'll do this after every spookerama um and let's give this thing a smash or pass let's talk about the movie and then you know now that we revisit we're watching a lot of old movies i say old but you know 90s 80s sure. 70s and uh even though we've seen them about th you know a thousand times we've seen them in this setting you know it, what I'm it saying? makes a big difference by the it, way oh, big difference big difference yeah a uh, theater can make or break a movie right 100 um i feel like we missed three months, four months worth of like great movies, though. Review, I'm glad we just yeah, we're just starting this shit now. American World from London, oh, Creep my. Show, oh, sorry, Jaws, by the way, Killer Clowns. They were all tens. Yeah, oh yeah, all of them were uh, smashes. You smashes. know what I'm saying? So, uh, but let's talk about this because Scream is um, once again. I didn't know how if we'd sell out or not on this thing. Yeah. Fuck, we did. Yeah. It was crazy. And uh, you guys, man, you the people who attend this these Spookaramas are probably my favorite people in the fucking world. Ever, dude. The crowd <laughs> participation is insane. Every every week, cosplays out the wazoo. Oh, my God. But man. also, just like, it very much looks like a stab movie, right? Okay. Like the movie within a movie. I freaking love that you said this because... Yeah. This was a movie within a movie beginning, right? Yep. And all this stuff. But the cosplays we had at this event, man, I, there was dozens and dozens and dozens of ghost faces. But not only that, we had uh, we were AZ Desert Cat, Crystal, just Crystal. with Gail Weathers, and a great Gail Weathers with a microphone interviewing people that didn't wasn't even plugged in, by the way. But anyway, right. it's like, good. <laughs> you've been drinking. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> but it was so cool to see that. You know, we had a... Uh, I, I, we probably, I'm sure we had a Sydney press cop. I'm sure we had a few others out there. You know, everybody was yeah. present. We had people from Scream One. Yeah, I think they just got confused. I have <laughs> no idea. I, I talked to so many ghost faces last night. Oh shit! Hey, jo and jo hey, Jason. Hey, Justin. Yeah. I have no idea who I was talking to <laughs> yeah. all night. It's that was the best, trip. man. It was. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was cool. So anyway, let's talk about this, right? So Scream Two. Now that we we've, we've watched it together here, right? We held hands. It was beautiful, Broke right? Uh, ate popcorn. We shared a popcorn bucket. Uh, <laughs> mine had a hole in it. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, um, but let's talk about it. You're right. So this thing starts out really awesome with, like, uh, Omar Epps and Jada Pinka Smith. Yeah. Pinka. Pinka. Is that a real name? Pinka. Pinka. <laughs> What yeah. does that mean? I, know, I just know not to fuck with her because yeah, Will. You, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't fuck with Will. He'll, he'll slap the taste out of your mouth, yeah. right? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was kind of cool because they go to see a stab movie, which was a movie based off of the Woodsville Murders from Scream 1, right? Right. And, and whatnot that Gail wrote. Is that Gail? Gail Weathers? Gail Weathers. Is that yeah. her name? Yeah. Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox. <laughs> hey, by the way, fuck, is that not Courtney Cox in her prime? That's all. Oh, yeah. boy. I'm glad you mentioned it because <laughs> last night, that was all I was thinking about. Yeah. yeah. Was, after popcorn. But <laughs> Courtney Cox looks good in that movie. She looks great. She dude. looks incredible. I, actually, kind of everybody looked really good in that movie. This yeah. is like uh, Scream Prime right here, right? So, uh, so anyway, they, they go to this rowdy-ass movie, Stab, you know? I think... If you look in like the uh, synopsis of things, I, I believe uh, I don't know the real names, but Omar Epps and Jada, uh, they were like I guess seniors at this college, Windsor College, yep. right? Which it seems like a party school because they had some shit going on in that school, yeah. right? <laughs> wow! And uh, so they go. She doesn't want to go, but you know all the tropes are coming in. You know, hey, black people die in, in, in all these movies. It was fucking hilarious. I was right. laughing at the dialogue. It was great. Um, and then sure enough, man, that crowd in there, I was like, man, this is like the crowd we got right now, right? I was like, I was waiting for people to stand up, start stabbing people and all sure. that shit. It was really cool. But um, yeah, you know, Omar dies and then Jada dies on stage. 
but it looks like it's part of the act. Yeah, really poetic. I love that. Poetic. And honestly, dude, name. watching, looking around, I'm watching the screen and yeah. I'm observing our crowd. I'm like, not much is different. You know what I mean? Not a whole <laughs> no lot shit. is different except nobody's dying. Yeah, no one's dying. Yeah. Well, we, we don't know that. The jury's still out on that, right? I got, I got to talk to the cops after right. this. So. Anyway, so cool. It's the way you start the movie. I love yeah. it, right? Um, I love the stab whole thing, too. That's Great what, intro. Yeah, love really that. cool. Um, so now we're back. We're at Windsor College here, and Sydney and Randy are students. Yeah. Randy, by the way, I love that character. Yes. Yeah, great character. Randy. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I had no idea if he died in the first movie or the you, second movie. Yeah, you thought he, he was dead already. I thought he was dead already, <laughs> but I was so excited to see that he was still alive in yeah, part two. Yeah, for a couple, about 20 minutes. He's got, like, my favorite one-liners. I love that So dude. that's the cool thing about Randy, man. He's the guy that gives all the tropes, yeah. right? And then he has, like, three new tropes because of, of sequels, right? Sure. And then and whatnot, you know? So you have all that. You have, uh, what's uh, Dewey's back. Dewey's back. You know? Crowd uh, pop for Dewey. Yeah, y'all big crowd pop for Dewey. Another thing I love about our crowd, by the way. Yeah, this Not is cool. To... Yeah, this is cool. Like, actually, we had the best crowd because, like, when there's there's very minimal talking when there's like dialogue, but when something happens, you get the crowd pop, right? Big time. You get the laughs, you get the oh, you know. And I love sure. that about movies, right? Yeah, Especially yeah. horror movies. You really can't do that on a romantic comedy. No, dude. If I'm next door watching whatever other movie they're showing, and yeah. I'm hearing that crowd, I'm like, what is next door? <laughs> sure, I gotta sure. be a part of that. I, I'm right with you. Yeah, man. yeah, guys. So uh, Thursday nights, by the way. Come on, buddy. Anyway, um, so uh, so they're at college, and guess what? A fucking new ghost face has emerged, and it just trying to stab everybody up and kill everybody <laughs> right now you know the deal guys and all this stuff um and insert gail weathers she comes back after her book everybody hates her for the book because yeah. she exposed everybody and lied and you know just trying to you you gotta sure. make a good story right gotta make a buck you gotta make a buck right <laughs> and uh and then the, there is a, a little competition out there right um i don't remember her name i think it was like debbie Salt, yeah. debbie you pepper know, or something like if that not, it is now because she looks like a debbie total debbie <laughs> And, uh, and it's like your local newscaster and, and whatever. And, of course, uh, what's her name? Just fucking face bombs or get out Heisman of the way. Trophy. Yeah, you know, <laughs> get, local TV shit, right? <laughs> yeah. I love that. Anyway, um, you, you know, another thing I liked about this. So, guys, the, the story goes. I'm not, we're not going to give a whole synopsis. Sure. You know what happened. You know the movie. Everybody's seen this thing. But um, I really enjoyed a couple pieces where – they did like the behind the scenes, like the E Entertainment or the TMZ of uh, of Stab, right? Sure. And they had the characters that are playing, you know, the actual original characters in Scream. And I believe you had like Tori Spelling in there, yeah. Sydney. Um, my favorite was Luke Wilson. <laughs> okay, and he play <laughs> he played Billy Loomis, and uh, but his character, his mannerisms as Billy was so fucking funny. The crowd was losing it. Yeah, dude. that was good. It was so cool, man. So uh, really fun how they did that shit. And so it was like three-dimensional fucking chess inside the Scream 2, you know? Sure. I, I really did. Breaking the fourth, fifth, and third walls or whatever. I don't Fun know. part of the movie. Yeah. I love when they go through the, when Ghostface is trying to chase after Courtney Cox and then Dewey shows up and he's kind of like, what well, you think, dying on screen mm -hmm. right there. But what a fun sequence that is, right? Yeah. With the see-through walls and everything. Oh, yeah. Really fun. Yeah. Um, uh, this is like, this is what I mean about like seeing a movie in a, in a theater and getting that experience. Scream, not a franchise I love. Sure. Um, after the first movie, never really need to be bothered by, by watching them at home. Right. But in that theater last night, I enjoyed myself. It was fun. It's hard not to. It was hard not to. It's yeah. really hard not to. And it, so. like I said, it's the effort of the the attendees of this thing. That Big time. In, you know what I'm saying? It was really fun. And we gave away a lot of cool shit. A lot of cool shit. I Almost too much cool shit. A lot of cool shit. So, uh, sorry for those who are attendees. Like, that, our, our little raffle was kind of a shit show. but uh, Right. But without whatever. these guys, like they fall flat, right? If me yes. and you were in that theater last night and we're just sharing that popcorn bucket, Mono, mono, yeah. e mono, mono, e mono. Yes, yeah. Yeah. not the greatest experience. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I got you. But right. when you live it, when you're living within a movie, because that's kind of what we did last for night. For sure, we lived stab. That was fun. Um, what a great time. Yeah, and we did that kind of with Jaws too. And Jaws, not Jaws too, but Jaws, Jaws as well. Killer clowns, uh, killer clowns. People were dressed up. It's really, really freaking neat, man. Popcorn yeah. guns everywhere. And we got some bangers ahead too. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. A lot of good stuff. Hundred percent. The descent is going to destroy people. I think so. I think that's taking Oh, yeah. Souls. You guys look at our August schedule. Forget it, man. In fact, um, well, go to our Instagram yeah. or just Facebook or whatever. You'll see it. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, anyway. So, let's get into, like, some kills. Uh, I thought the kills were really fun in this, man. Um, you know, of course, they were a little bit more violent because right. that was part of the tropes, right? Sure. The kills are over the top now and this and that. But, I mean, you had people getting stabbed and then thrown over balconies. You had people, I mean, just, they were getting... No, I wanted to ask you a question yeah. about this, okay. by the way, because the so last night, probably a movie you haven't seen in a while, Scream 2, right? Yes. I'm guessing. Yo, it's um, been a, a years. The nice thing about this, the exciting thing, is yeah. that you get to almost watch it what it feels like for the first time, right? Yes. So you're watching it last night. What did you think? I was really observant to the blood, like what it looked like. Yeah. What did you think? Were you like, were you a fan of the way the I thought so. The blood looked? I'm, I was cool with it. It was man. pretty cool when Homeboy got in the beginning through the stall. Yes. And I was like, you know what? That was really well done. I, I thought it, it, it looked good. Very impressed by the kills. I, honestly. I 
uh, all. I mean, okay, the ending with the gunshots and shit like that, right? It was yeah. like, I don't know. I, I think a, a slasher is when you start introducing guns, which. I mean, of course, you don't know these guns. If, if you want to be real, right? Right. I'm shooting the shit out of somebody, right? You come up with a knife, right? Especially yeah. in a ghost face fucking mask, you know? Um, but I still like, give me more uh, physical killing, you know what I'm sure. saying? The stabbing and all that stuff. But right. they did a little bit of a uh, mixture toward the end, right? When yep. we find out the actual killers. I don't know. You know, we can totally run it. I don't give a shit. If you shit. haven't seen Scream 2, it's, it's get been out of town. 20, what, right? five years? Yeah, or yeah, come on, guys, right? So, yeah, so but it was, it was good and bad. So, like, I like that the whether that Debbie girl, yep. um, the other newscaster was actually Billy Loomis's mom, Nancy sure. Loomis. Who shocker? Who knew? Right. Damn. <laughs> but uh, the other killer, because there's two ghost faces in this thing, right? Yep. Um, was like a friend of. I love that guy. <laughs> that character is like literally my favorite character in that whole movie. Yeah, I don't even know his name. I I oh. I, I forget his name. Mickey. I think it was Mickey. Is it Mickey? I think it was Mickey. Right on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> From the beginning of the movie in the classroom, I fucking love that guy. Yeah, he was, I was good. I was glad it was him. His reasoning for killing was a little weird. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm just, I am cannot wait for the trial so yeah. I can blame it on movie violence. Sure. Bro, look, I'm <laughs> I'm no lawyer. You're going to fucking lose that. I ain't going to lie. Sorry right, about that's that. That's why Loomis's mom helped him. Good she call. Just like, <laughs> oh, yeah, ass. she whacked him. Yeah. <laughs> like, bye. Like you know? Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anyway. So, yeah, it was, uh, I, I think I took at the very end out of all this so besides jimmy kennedy dying yeah um in the van right he's, he broke his own goddamn rule he did you know dumb fuck okay <laughs> anyway but uh i i think my biggest thing is uh campus security sucks on this terrible uh, this windsor college don't go there you man. know what? when we look around and observe <laughs> the horror atmosphere too yeah ll cool j and halloween h2o sure terrible at security yeah terrible. yeah when you look across again the board here all the security in these movies and these horror movies not good. Yeah, look, oh, you guys want to go to college somewhere, man. Don't look at you go, oh, I want to go to Harvard or Ivy School, Ivy League or whatever. Yeah, I would first look at look at the campus cops, man, sure. and see what you got. If they look like fucking Doofy from Scary Movie, yeah. or if don't do it. Go to community college, kids. Or if it's LL Cool J or Busta Rhymes, too. <laughs> That's true. You know, get it the hell yeah. out of there. Yeah, LL, man. That guy, what, what a worthless guy. I mean, he's a wor great rapper. I love the guy, but hey. uh, and actor, actually. He's a really good actor, man. We actually talked about that on uh, Total Free Cop yep. on uh, Halloween uh, when we, you had H2O with, uh, with LL, LL, and then you had Busta Rhymes on Resurrection, right? right. And it's like, man, uh, two rappers, right? Yep. Um, but LL just totally outshined Busta Rhymes, man. Busta Rhymes, you just, you're good, you're good at th throwing beats, man. Don't do that. It. I have a question for you, though. Yes. Is LL Cool J a horror icon? Ooh. So he's been in H2O. Yeah. Pretty sure he was in Deep Blue Sea, right? He's yeah. the chef. I think he, like, was he like some anac no, not, no, anaconda? No, that was Ice Cube. Ice Cube, yeah. I right, fuck. Love Ice Cube. Yeah, I just, um, <laughs> he's great, too. Great performance. Yeah. But I think LL, hey, you know what? Two? If you're I'm in two horror movies. I'm here for it, man. He needs yeah. to do a little bit more. I think. I mean, status. he's doing like that CSI or that like NYPD Blue or whatever. He's yeah. doing one of those cop shows. That's a winner too. It scratches the surface. It does, yeah. But he needs to like dive more into some fucking, uh, you know. I don't know. He's done more than Billy Spread Loomis. Your, yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, good call, right? Like, <laughs> Spread your wings, LL. You right. Uh, by the way, um, what does LL Cool J stand for? Oh, uh, Lieutenant Lionel. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like Love Long. Or Love something. Long. I think it's something like that, man. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, if you guys know, put it in the comments below. What does LL mean, right? I'm actually curious. Uh, yeah. I mean, I have a few things I can say. Uh, Likewise. But, but they're dirty. They're censored. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, a total compliment to LL, though, right? Oh, for yeah. sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> anyway. All right. So um, we got to, we, we, it's kind of, like I said, it was a fun movie, a yeah. great experience. Um, I guess now is. What do you think? You know, revisiting this on a big screen in the setting, is this a smash or a pass for you, right? I mean, the movie's gone. We're not trying to sure. pump people up anymore. So this is a true, true, which, how you feel this movie should, is a, uh, is it a winner or is it a loser for you? Yeah, I left the theater last night feeling like it was a total smash, right? Yeah. Like a, a great experience, yeah. 10 out of 10 experience. Yeah. Again, credit to everybody that comes. Um, but I genuinely enjoyed myself more than I did most movies that I go to see, sure. even ones I like. Again, yeah. theatrical experiences make everything. And also, after watching it, if I was to just recommend movies to people here at the shop, yeah. Scream 2, uh, instead of giving it like the Julius Caesar thumbs down, yeah, yeah. I'd probably give it the vote of confidence now. I had a fun time watching the movie. Uh I'm right with you, man. Yeah. Uh, it's a smash for me as well, man. Um, and 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 it wasn't going into it, right? Hmm. It was just like, all right, you know, I like I like Scream One a lot, and I was yeah. like, there's no way this can compare, but uh, fucking wrong, wrong. Like I said, and that's why I always tell people, environment means something, right? If you're watching it at home, you got a screaming kid, your dog's chewing on your leg, right, or pissing on the carpet, <laughs> or whatever, right? You got Justin; he's got 14 fucking cats over his, you know, that stuff. A lot. You're a little bit distracted. <laughs> it's not the environment you want to be in. You want to 
to be in a, a movie theater filled with like 300 people. Half of them are dressed as Ghostface. There's a good possibility someone could just go psycho and kill somebody there, right? <laughs> it's kind of that edge. a little tension a little bit, right? You I like know? that. So uh, this is why I sit in the back. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> we can run away really quick. Uh, Almost makes me wonder, like, Scream 3, potential? Maybe? Maybe. Oh, Scream 3, man. That's, I hate it. That, that's when things turn wrong. But that may, it could be fun. You I know? would like to see it. I'm almost yeah. curious. Maybe so, that's something we uh, consider down the road here. You guys tell us. In fact, that's a good thing, man. Put it in your. If you are an attendee, first off, if you don't attend Spookarama, don't give me your recommendations of what movie to watch. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm just saying that, right? Sure. I get it, dude. I live in Oklahoma. I, I don't know. Move. Yeah, a uh, lot. <laughs> Southwest. Yeah, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Jump out here. It's just a Thursday. Get out. Here, you know. Sure. Uh, but if you do like attending these things, hit me some movies because we kind of pick these like. A month or two prior. That's about it, right? Right. This and the reason we do that is to stay fresh, right? Yeah. Because like in Scream Two, the script was leaked. By the way. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, what's that guy named Wes Craven? Yeah, Wes. Yeah, guy, Wesley. He's done a few good movies, right? <laughs> he says "f you" and he ripped the script up, and they were writing it as they go, so no one knew who the killers were, right? Um, That's pretty fucking cool. It, actually, and so the cast, I heard that they were all guessing, and uh, so guess who got it right? Out of all the people. Hmm. Dewey or Dewey. David Arquette. Okay? David Arquette. He actually like I guess prior they had an inside bet. They're probably drinking or whatever, right? And, yeah. they, and he actually picked who he thinks the actual killer was, and he was right. Look at you. You're actually like educating me today. This yeah. is insane. This but, is a this is a real story. Look, I was wait- Wikipedia for the win. <laughs> I oh, don't know. Okay, so it's got to be true. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be true. <laughs> some fucking some guy in his basement just made this shit up. But you know what? It sounds good to you guys, right? It sounds the good. First to me. comment is gonna be oh, that's all wrong. <laughs> <It's> all wrong. <laughs> you're all fucked. Look, if you're watching the Creepcast, we're all fucked anyway. So. Especially at minute twenty. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> so, all right, guys. So, anyway, once again, uh, let's go. If you're watching this real time, we have uh, what we got next. Oh, Final oh. Destination three. Yes, coming I, up. I know you did last summer. I know you did last summer. That <sighs> grounds out our July. I love that movie so Ooh, much, man. But August. August. Let's just talk about. It. We got the descent. Yeah. By the way, it's supposed to be a mystery movie. That was a fuck up. <laughs> That's like we're talking about shit got leaked. Yeah, that's what got leaked. That's what got our, our mystery movie got leaked. How about that shit? That movie's gonna destroy people. I can't wait. If you haven't seen the descent, man, put on your seatbelt. That right? movie, that's going. Th- there's not really a lot of laughter in this movie. No, <laughs> there's a lot of crying. <laughs> no. But yeah, but you go from that to Jeepers Creepers, right? Jeepers Creepers into Evil Dead Two. E- oh my god! Oh. And then we're gonna round out this fucking amazing month, right? Because in between we got Gathering the Ghouls, yeah. but with Nightmare on Elm Street Three. <laughs> Win. Woo! Maybe the best of the franchise. Fuck. Maybe. What is it? I was like, what dreams? What was it called? No, Dream Warriors. <laughs> Dream Warriors. Dream what, Warriors. Dreams? what Dreams was the, uh, the yeah, sixth. Yeah, that was the, uh, yeah, that's the Pornhub version. Anyway. So. <laughs> that's the uncut. Version. Yeah, the, <laughs> literally uncut, right? <laughs> so, all right. Okay, we got to get off here. Okay, we're idiots. So. I think we should get off here by doing the uh, the dance that they did on the table in the movie, Scream 2. I, I think I love you, Jason. Oh, what am I so afraid of? I think I love you, but I don't. <laughs>